This is Echo 3, and let's discuss the new maneuver tool that has been added to the game as of version 1.12. It is a tool that will create the maneuver nodes for you. In this case, I'd like to go all the way out to Midmus. Now getting to the MUN I found was very easy and the tool worked very well. For getting to Minmus, I found it worked a lot better if I was already in a similar inclination to my destination. You can see my ascending and descending nodes, and I am off by, I think, 0.3 degrees, so the tool will work very well. Uh, so you can either try and launch into the correct inclination or try and correct that uh, after you've already um, gotten into orbit. But for now, I'm in the correct inclination. I will select the maneuver tool over here, select Minmus as my destination, and then the create option becomes available. So I will select create, and you will see a maneuver node appear on my screen. Now I don't know exactly why the game puts the node here, and I will have to wait for quite a few days before this will work but I can tell you that it does work. So this maneuver will take us all the way out and get us an encounter with Minmus. It, it's not perfect. Uh, I can play with the maneuver node myself and work on it, but I'm just gonna use what the game gave me here to start with. So we time warp and the built-in alarm clock for the game will stop us as we get close to the maneuver. So the game has added a, an alarm clock feature as well. So when I created that maneuver, it also created an alarm to stop at the appropriate time. Now I'll activate the engines. Uh, this craft is just a little something I, I threw together in the vehicle assembly building because I needed a demonstration craft. It has room for 17 Kerbals and lots of Delta V. And I think I'm using the Cheetah engines on the back. So, you know, they were kind of uh, a fun little engine here. Uh, lightweight, but good amount of power and good vacuum specific impulse. Now, as we burn out towards Minmus, you can see my Delta V remaining there going down and my orbital line extending out to Minmus. I will slow way down as I get close so that I won't overburn. I will set Minmus here as my focus point and watch and see exactly how my orbital lines approach the moon. With a little puff here, I've gotten very close, uh, just just under 10,000 meters, so that is great. Now, with this uh, intersect point here, I'm going to create a new maneuver at my min periapsis and go retrograde. Now, there's another tool here on the bottom left, and I can just enter in whatever value I want. In the case of orbiting Minmus, about negative 160, or a retrograde of 160 is pretty close. That'll get me into orbit. Now I can bring up the graphical maneuver editor and further refine my orbital parameters here. So I can use my scroll wheel as I hover over different sections. On the right hand side of this tool you can see a little bar, a little slider that goes up and down. That will affect just how drastic my scroll wheel will affect the, the end result of the maneuver. So that's uh, very helpful if I want to make it very fine, I will put it down or make it very uh, drastic. I can raise it so my scroll wheel on my mouse will uh, have lots of effect or very little effect. And it's uh, very useful for fine tuning your maneuvers. I will use this tool again, uh, just a little bit later here and demonstrate a little bit more what I can do with it. So. We've now gotten ourselves here, our close approach to Minmus. We're gonna burn at our periapsis, at our maneuver node here. That will get us into uh, a nice circular orbit around this moon. Now, getting here is great. Uh, I didn't really set up any missions, so we're not gonna land or anything. Now, how do we go ahead and get back to Kerbin? We can look at this maneuver tool, but there's no options for getting back to Kerbin. No big deal. We'll just create a maneuver here on our orbital line. There we go. And I'm gonna go ahead and say, make this a prograde maneuver. 
and I can enter in a value here of say around 160, 165, and I know that will be enough to reach escape velocity and eject Minmus. I want to escape retrograde to its orbit, but prograde to mine. You can see there's a tool there in the center of the graphical maneuver editor that has lines, uh, has little dashes pointing left to right. I can use those to move the maneuver node around on my orbit. So you can either drag or use the scroll wheel on your mouse and it will affect when the maneuver is supposed to happen. I'm going to move it around on your orbit. Very helpful. In this case, I'd like to try something new. Let's go to Duna. So we're back in orbit around Kerbin and this time a more circular orbit. So we'll set Duna now as our target destination. And I can tell you right now that Duna is not in a ideal location for transferring there. It's behind Kerbin. And an ideal transfer window is when Duna is about 44, 45 degrees ahead of Kerbin. Now, the game has taken this into consideration and we have to wait over a year for an ideal transfer window. So the maneuver is already created. Now all we have to do is wait. So I think what I'll do is I'll focus on Kerbal here. It's just a little less dizzying for me if I focus on Kerbal while I time warp almost two years. So I'll do that. Now we time warp and you can see that Duna is now in an ideal location for a transfer. My Holman transfer is going to take me from Kerbin and on the opposite side of Kerbal is when I meet Duna. So this is a very ideal transfer scenario. So the game has done a very good job calculating my transfer window and a very efficient transfer out to Duna. The tool I found doesn't always work well, sometimes you will have to plot a mid-course correction burn and it will tell you this, that it will get you close. It's not a perfect tool, but if you are new to the game, it can definitely make going to a moon or going interplanetary easier. It's, it's not a perfect tool. It doesn't do everything that something like MechJeb would do, but it works. So. I can get into orbit around Duna the same as I got into orbit around Minmus um, just by using the maneuver editor here. So that's very similar. If you've been enjoying my Kerbal Air and Space program modded career mode, I haven't forgot about it. I have just noticed it doesn't get as many views as my tutorial stuff. So I think I'll go back to it at some point and if you'd like to see it, let me know. But right now I'm uh, highlighting some useful features that have been added to the game and I haven't seen anyone else cover these topics. I am Echo3, and thanks for joining me on this discussion about the new maneuver tools in the game. I will see you next time.